Off we go now for game two of our weekend set with a called strike as Jacoby Long leading things off for the Hurricane. Uh, both offensively and defensively. And, and a couple of strikeouts through 14 pitches there as gets another big swing and a miss for a second strikeout. To make it work. Up the middle and through a base hit. So Gonzalez with the two out knock, his fourth hit of the series already. Two and two from Johnson and ends the inning. Johnson strikes out the side, works around the walk and the two out single and I start for the Duke freshman. And accountable for this staff, especially last year. Miller goes the other way, slashes a base hit and Miller wasting no time, moving his hitting streak to a dozen games. Two and two, foul tipped for strike three. Nice pitch there up in the zone. That one kicks away from the catcher. Miller up to second base on a wild pitch. And the one he saw at Coral Gables last year gets a swing and a miss. And a pair of punch outs in the opening inning for Schlesinger as his jersey retired in Coral Gables. And a swing and a miss by Johnson, his fourth strikeout. He takes ball four outside, Johnson's second walk. And the inning continues for Antonio Jimenez, the number nine hitter. And Johnson back to work. That will end the frame. Five strikeouts for the rookie, Kyle Johnson. For the offense here in the second. And slaps the base hit to left field. To get the runner from second to third in the ninth, and there he is getting on base. Once again, sneaking in behind Clark. Obi out to center field and hit fairly well, but playable for long. Shy of the track, makes the catch. Stone tagging from second and will move to third. Clark right behind him, and the throw gets him for a double play. The payoff pitch off the mound into center field, and the Blue Devils have the lead. A two out, two strike knock for Macon Winslow. That is the 64th two out RBI as a team this year. Good job here by the freshman, just Right back up the middle, knowing that with a full count, Schlesinger was going to have to be in or close to the plate. And then had to walk it off in the ninth. There's a base hit by you. Third hit of the inning. Two on, two out. And the top of the order coming up for the Blue Devils. Ahead in the count at all this afternoon. That one blooped to the right side and fair. Racing around third is Winslow. He will score. Stopping at third is you. It's an RBI double for Morris and a 2-0 Duke lead in the second. Well, here's the difference in the game so far today. Two inches either way. The home run off the bat of Jimenez, that was not a home run because it was two inches foul. And then you've got this RBI double. To third. In between hop, picked nicely by Cuvay and throws him out. The payoff pitch. Got him! Stone will have to throw him out, and uh, the inning is over. Yeah, Schlesinger's done a nice job with Gracia until that pitch. Up the middle and through a base hit. Hit number six for Duke already this afternoon, so besting their total from yesterday. To the left side, beats the shift. As Bravo, a sharp single to left. First two on for the Blue Devils in the third. And Stone couldn't hold his swing. Another strikeout for Schlesinger. 0-1 on Clark. And that hit him. And the bases are loaded with one out for the Blue Devils. Schlesinger delivers. High bouncer to the left side. The throw to first is in time. Obi retired, but the Blue Devils bring home a run and take a 3-0 lead. And got him. Back to the fastball. Winslow chased a pitch outside. The true definition when you think of a cleanup hitter as Gonzalez takes strike three. And that fastball will be strike three. In the center field, OB comes racing in and ends the inning. The ACC, SMU, Cal, and Stanford coming in. Uh, the decision has been made 
you know, in the basketball tournament, hats off to him to, to be able to, to deal with it um, and, and be able to play baseball at the elite level in college and, and practice Lessinger. Absolutely. So admirable. And you really credit his family for supporting him as unfortunately gives up run number four here in the fourth inning on a base hit from Grassi. Grassi with his 38th RBI of the year and a multi-hit game. Good teams from great teams and great teams from elite teams. Out to center field for Long who makes the catch and ends the inning. Higgins trying to end the frame. And he does. Jimenez down looking. So you would imagine his outing getting a little shorter as Clark rolls one up the middle for a base hit. Another base hit back to center field. And the Hurricanes today as Ovi comes up empty and strikes out. With one on and two out. Runner goes. Winslow swings and lifts one out to center field. This chase is long back a couple of steps, but ends the inning. We have here today with the wind blowing in last night and today. As, uh, as soon as we start talking about, you know, the struggles, there's one roped into the gap and it'd be uh, Miami's first extra base hit of the weekend. Uh, double to start the inning for long. It's the first base runner that has reached against Higgins. Off to a great start in his professional career. Ground ball to the right side, a base hit. They're going to wave around long. Here's a throw from Gracia. It's cut off, and Miami on the board. Viegas with the base hit, and it's a 4-1 to Duke lead. One on, nobody out. And that ball out to center field. Playable for Obi, shy of the warning track for the first out. Look at the runner tagging at second. Aggressive base running for the Hurricanes and Viegas into scoring position. Yeah, fan fantastic heads up play there. A ball and a strike on Gonzalez. And that ball out to center field. Obi drifting over. Makes the catch. Runner tags. Heading for third. The throw on target, but tardy. And Viegas more aggressive base running. He's at third with two out. Up the middle, a two out RBI for the Hurricanes, and it's a two run game. And the payoff pitch to left center field and down a base hit, turning the corner, heading to third is Torres. Miami has him at the corners with two down. Ends the inning. Back to the off speed to get him. Talon delivers, and that misses the outside corner. Trying to retire Jimenez here, and he does. Drops in the breaking ball. Jimenez strikes out for the third time today. To right, center, and down. Could be extra bases again for Long. Miami has runners at second and third, and just one man out as Long doubles for the second time today. Ground ball to second. Tricky hop played nicely by Morris. A run is in. Productive out. It's a one-run game. Talon sets. Another payoff pitch. Yank to left, and the game is tied. Cuve with an extra base hit, perhaps. He slides in to second safely, and the Hurricanes have come all the way back and tied the game at four. Yeah, great patience here by... Cuvay just to hang around in the plate appearance, taking pitches out of the strike zone, fouling pitches off, and then finally got one right over the heart of the plate, able to drive it. Tie-breaking run at second. As that one up the middle, behind the bag, Clark is there. Bielinson ends the inning, and Miami settles for just the tie. Gracia out to right field. Costello racing back, still going. This ball's going to one hop over the wall for a double. The go ahead run and scoring position for the Blue Devils as Gracia doubles for the seventh time this year. And Bravo takes four out of the zone. And the Blue Devils have two men on, nobody out. Blue Devils only have six sacrifices as a team. Stone grounds one off the mound and into the outfield a base hit to give the Blue Devils the lead and they're at the corners with nobody out. We've talked about it all afternoon. The, the bounces and the nuances that come with putting a ball in play have 
tilted favorably. And this is another one. If this ball doesn't hit the mound, it is hit so sharply in the center field. I don't think Rossi scores from second base, but it takes the bounce that it does just over the shortstop's head. Gracia scores easily. To short for the out, and they throw back to, back to third. But Bravo able to scamper back. Odavos have reclaimed the lead in the seventh as Obi chases the ball downstairs. That is strike three. Three men on the right side of the infield. Runner goes, pitch is low, and they're loaded. Grounds one towards short. Jimenez underhands to second, and that will be that. Goes the other way, and Albright will watch that one land in front of him. A two-out hit, and the Hurricanes have the tying run aboard in the eighth. Right-hander against right-hander, the pitch. Got him, swinging. A pair of punch-outs for Bielinson. Kaba brings it home, and Morris comes up empty. He's pitching very effectively for the Hurricanes as Miller down on strikes. And that's low, ball four. So the first base runner that Kaba has permitted today earned his second win of the series. They've got the runner picked off, and the throw to second is in time, and the Blue Devils run themselves out of the inning. And the first pitch lofted to left, Albright into the corner, and makes the catch. Up the middle, and through a base hit. So a three-hit day for the Miami center fielder, and the Hurricanes have the tying run aboard with one man out. Villegas, the Miami left fielder. High bouncer to second base. Morris up with it, goes to second for one, and that is all they get. Out toward right, center field. Obi is there, and the Blue Devils have won the series from the Hurricanes. A seesaw battle on this Saturday afternoon. Charlie Bielinson slams the door. Their first series win over the Hurricanes since 2018.